Hi everyone, today we'll be discussing how to add a GNSS correction source in Earthworks version 2.10. Let's go ahead and log into the operator app. First, I'm going to raise and lower the blades so we can get into the dashboard. Now, we have a few options of how to navigate to choosing a correction source. We can either 1. Click the system settings gear on the bottom left before choosing your project and starting the job, or 2. Hit start and get into the system settings gear. I'm going to go ahead and click on the bottom left gear settings now. We'll want to scroll down until we see the GNSS correction source menu. Once you are in this menu, you have the options to choose any pre-existing sources that have been saved to the machine. We'll go ahead and click apply and it'll take us back to the main screen. If you tap machine setup, you've got the option to select your positioning source. In this case, we've got dual GNSS on our dozer. You also have the option of choosing your correction source here. If you click on the open window, it will navigate you back to the same page we just saw. Now, if you navigate to the advanced button, you will be taken to the web interface where you are able to activate or deactivate a configured correction source or add, edit, or delete a source. Let's hit the back button and get back into the operator app. After confirming your source and settings, hit apply. All right, now that we know how to select a correction source, let's get into some troubleshooting steps and error messages that have been seen in the field and what the solution is. To get more details regarding your correction sources, navigate to the web interface, then monitor, then GNSS details. Since we're running dual GNSS, we can see details for both the left and right receivers when we scroll up and down. This view will show us firmware of the receivers, how many satellites we're seeing, the connection status, the GNSS modes, base info type, any latency, among other things. Let's take a look into the different modes real quick for a better understanding. Old position mode means the receiver's not tracking enough satellites or is still looking for the satellites and not getting a valid position. Autonomous means the receiver is tracking satellites, but there are no valid corrections. DGPS, or differential GPS, means the receiver recently lost valid corrections. It's more accurate than autonomous and essentially means you're getting a signal from a base station, but have not yet resolved the timing to go fixed. RTK, or fixed mode, indicates the receiver is accurately tracking satellites and has valid corrections. In any cases where it's not a valid position, you should check the GNSS cables for any issues and ensure the antennas have a clear view of the sky. Let's now go over a couple troubleshooting steps. Be sure to first check any GNSS cables for issues. This includes checking the connector pins. Also check for any potential water damage. Ensure the receiver and earthworks itself are up to date. This can be checked in the web interface under Monitor Onboard Devices. Still having issues? Try a hard reset on the receivers. This can be done in the GNSS Details page for either receiver. Note that you will not lose any licenses by performing this hard reset. Another troubleshooting step you can perform is swapping the receiver with a known good receiver on the machine and see if you are having the same issue. This can help rule out if it's a receiver issue or a machine issue. One final step you can check to see if the correction source itself is working properly. If other machines on the site are having similar issues, it's likely the correction source causing the trouble. As always, if you need to reach out to us for anything, be sure to provide the troubleshooting steps you took along with any screenshots and Z snaps.